Hi everybody. So if you're here, you are back for week seven, week seven of our black sheep temperature blanket along. I know you can't read this because it's backwards, but this is what we are working on today. So um, it is Wednesday. It is very warm for St. Louis today. We had a high of 61. I cannot believe that. 61 for our high, which means that I am going to be working with ooh, faded curtains. Faded curtains is a beautiful color. It's this beautiful blue gray, gorgeous color. So let me find that one. Let's see, and there we go. So I have, of course, my giant bag of yarn with all of the yarn that I'm using for my blanket along. And, uh, and there's my needles. So that's my US3 needles. And I am using, of course, the lovely Mian cotton fingering weight. So soft and squishy. I love this stuff. We have tons of colors of it, too. If you're looking for a really nice fingering weight cotton, hmm, this is lovely stuff. It weaves really nicely. It knits really nicely. And it crochets really nicely, too. It's beautiful stuff. Anyway, this is the color we're going to be using today. And we need to pick out a fun, and I do mean a fun, pattern. I'm um, not entirely sure what I want to do, but uh, yeah, definitely got to pick out that pattern, don't you think? Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and turn the camera down and, and take a look. Okie dokie. So here, of course, is my temperature blanket along um, front page. We have seen all of this before. It reminds me what needle I'm using, what yarn I'm using, what day's temperatures I've decided will be my square of the week. And of course, then I can go down here and I can check out which color I chose um, because we're going to use faded curtains since we're in the 60 to 64 range. So I did break my 60s up because I get a lot of days in St. Louis that are between 60 and 69. So um, hopefully we will start seeing some of these 65 to 69 degrees days later on, and I will get to use both of these lovely colors. So, all right, well, let's take a look at the pattern. Here is the blanket along pattern. Now, if you recall, we are not using the Erica Knight. We are using the Mian Cotton, lovely stuff. And I'm not using US 4s, I'm using US 3s. These happen to be Haya Hayas, which are fabulous, by the way. So let's find a fun pattern. Let's see, so I've already done the broken rib. We could do bordered squares. The bordered squares are kind of fun, just makes these lovely squares. Um, Checkered basket stitch could be fun. I've already done a couple of these. Ooh, flying geese is really fun. So is interlocking lattice, the horizontal parallelogram. Gosh, there's so many good patterns that we haven't done yet. I am going to have to get cracking soon though and design some new patterns so that I can add to our 52 patterns for the year. Ooh, I like the waving rib. We could do that one this week. Hmm, waving rib or the checkered, what was that one called? The bordered squares, hmm, bordered squares or waving rib. I think they'll both look good in this color. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the waving rib. That one sounds fun, don't you think? All right, waving rib. So let's see what our pattern says. It says to cast on 34 with color number 505 Steve. But of course, we're ignoring that. We're using whatever color we want. Uh, we're going to follow our chart and repeat the stitches between the red lines. And again, because I did black and white, these are my red lines. Uh, so I'll repeat these stitches four times for each row. And then I'll repeat the entire chart four times. But I'm going to guess that I'll need to do that five times. Yeah, because it does say to work rows one through four again. But I'm, I'm guessing that I'll have to work all eight rows five times in order to make it square. And then I'll bind off. All right, so let's go ahead and cast on 34 with uh, that Mian cotton and those uh, signature needles. And then we'll look at row one. Okie dokie, so I have my 34 stitches cast on and I'm going to go ahead and work my row one. Now row one says to slip, purl two, knit four, purl two, and then I will repeat this a second, third, and fourth time. 
and then I'll start working knit four, purl two, and I will end on a knit one. So let's get cracking. Slip one. Now I do a Portuguese purl, and that means when I bring my yarn to the front, I actually carry my yarn under my thumb, and I use my thumb to bring my yarn up and around, just like this. So because I'm carrying my yarn over here under my thumb, I use my thumb to hold that yarn down in the back. Makes for a very fast purl. Now I can knit one, two, three, four, purl two. And now we are going to repeat this again. So that was my first repeat. So let's do one, two, three, four. That's our second repeat. One, two, three, four. Third repeat. One, two, three, four. Fourth repeat. And now we'll end. One, two, three, four, purl one, two, knit one. Now remember when we are reading the wrong side of a chart that we are going to slip one, knit two, purl four, knit two, purl four, repeat four times, knit two, and purl one. Because we do the opposite. And of course, if you ever get confused, you can always check the key for your chart. So here we go, slip one. Knit, oops, there we go. One, two, purl one, two, three, four. Knit 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 one, two, purl one, two, three, four, knit two, and we're going to end on a purl one. So in other words, we're really just knitting the knits and purling the purls. So however the stitch presents to you, that is how you will work it for the next, uh, actually, for the next three rows. Just remembering to slip the first stitch on both the right side and wrong side rows as you work your pattern. Okay, I am going to go work this square and um, finish it up. All we are doing in uh, the second half of the chart is we shift the placement of those um, pearls just a little bit to the left so that your rib will wave back and forth a little bit. It's a really cool effect. So I'll show it to you in just a little bit as soon as I'm done. I'm back with my finished square. And isn't this just a pretty, pretty waving rib? I really like this um, pattern. I like how uh, you have your knits that uh, stand out and I like how you have your pearls that kind of wander back and forth and so it makes your ribbing kind of wavy. And I actually like both the front and the back of this one. I think this is a really fun um, sort of reversible pattern. So just wanted to show you that the front and the back are both pretty darn cool. And that is the end of our week seven for the blanket along. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, being in California and, and doing my lace conference in Costa Mesa, and hopefully I am there when this posts. Um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you guys? Uh, don't forget to go shop at blacksheepfiberemporium.com. I put up a ton of new fun stuff. Um, all the inventory is in, so hopefully, hopefully it's all correct. Um, We've had a little bit of uh, trouble with sort of like ghosting of inventory where we have fixed the inventory and then it magically reappears. So, um, you know, if there's like one left of something, um, it may or may not be there, but we always let you guys know. And, uh, you know, if there's like three or four of something, we probably have it, just gonna say. Um, but anyway, lots of fun new stuff has gone in. Um, we've got, of course, all of the fantastic man cotton 
And then, um, you know, there's a lot of other options. Tina has been dying, so I know that she'll be doing some videos about the dying process soon. And uh, yeah, anyway, until uh, next time, please take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and craftually. Make sure that you're doing at least 15 minutes of crafting every day. I know it really helps me uh, to sort of center or ground myself. And um, this little beauty is all done now. It's all soft and squishy and lovely. Um, anyway, so, and I'm, I'm happy because I'm caught up now on uh, my blanket before I leave. So anyway, you guys take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next episode. All right. Remember to go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you have followed us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all those fun places because we post fun new things all the time. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. So bye.